Hey, what is up guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks for the support and all the likes that you guys have been giving for the past uh, couple of vlogs. Really appreciate it. Today is going to be a nice and quick, uh, just a review of my Mavic Mini uh, drone. Um, I'm not going to really go into big detail, it's really just an unboxing, um, what, how to fly it, how to use some of the, 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 the cool functions that it has. Um, yeah man, let's just have some fun. Alright, so let's get into it. So you'll see here, there's a big spread of a lot of accessories. So basically what this is, this is because I, I went with the option of the combo pack and I'm going to explain why. Um, look, if you're spending the amount on this Mavic uh, Mini, um, I would say add the extra thousand rand or whatever it is that you want to spend and go with the combo. Reason being, I mean, you get a nice carry case like this. Um, it's nice and padded inside you get your propeller guards if you want to put them on you can you get three extra sets of propellers with screws and you get a screwdriver you get a charger that can charge all three batteries that you get with this and also this uh, doubles up as a on-the-go charger so if you want to charge something else you can just plug it in there and yeah you can charge your phone whatever it is that you have you get uh, extra connections, as I said, you get three extra batteries and you would want these. Um, well, you know, the battery guys last about, say, 20-25 minutes for a flying. And for me personally, I don't really use it that long. It's just more for cinematic shots and some of the quick shots, but we'll get into that a bit later. You get uh, chargers and you get a charger for that. And that is why I went with the extra, the combo pack, because you never know something goes and then you're paying a little bit more for an individual item whereas you could have gotten in the combo pack and yeah good to go and you get extra joysticks which is also cool you know, I'll show you where they hide the joysticks so this is the drone and this is how small it is basically fits in the palm of my hand uh, when it's folded up um, there's a three axis gimbal um, with a nice cover on that you can just take off and that's how it looks. It's a very cool camera. Um, opening it up is quite easy. Just flick that open, flick that open, that goes there, and that goes there. And there you have it. What's nice about this drone is it's only 249 grams, which means you don't need a license in my country at least, in South Africa, and I'm sure in many other um, countries. You don't need a license to fly this drone because it's under 250 grams. Um, yeah, and some some specs on this this cam on this drone. Um, so they say 30 minute flight time, um, but I've tested it. It's probably about 20 22 minutes, also depending on the weather. Uh, it's got a four kilometer distance, um, and you can record videos at HD. It's still at four kilometers, but I don't plan on flying this thing for four kilometers away. Uh, especially with the winds here in Cape Town. Um, another thing, like I said, it's got a three axis gimbal and it records at 2.7K, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, and like I said, we'll get into a bit of the quick shots a bit later when I show you the actual operating system of it. Uh, you can add in, you can charge on the go, you can add your uh, micro SD. The only issue I had with this drone was uh, when I bought it, I had a normal micro SD, plugged it in, it would not record anything. So I've done some research and so this is the SD card that I went with in the end. So it's a 32 gig, um, it's a, it records at 100 megabytes a second, so which is cool for that extra, the 2.7K um, HD videos. So the reason why I went to the 32 gig is Merely because when I record something, then when I get home, I immediately transfer it onto the, the Mac Mini and I start editing. Um, so I don't need that big amount of space of storage card because I'm into that whole, you know, once I record something, I put it out there on the interwebs <laughs> so that it's there. And the cool bit about that is um, once you post something on social media, you, you know, you get a, a reminder every now and then um, of what you were doing at that time. and 
especially if you're having like a not so good a day and a memory pops up of you having fun it could brighten your day so that's my thinking of putting stuff on social media and it's you know it's there you don't need to have physical storage for yourself so yeah so this is how it looks okay this is the control for the Mavic Mini um, it feels amazing in your hand nice grip uh, look, guys as I said I'm not going into too much detail it's just really a startup of how to set this thing up and what it does so this is how you open it up yeah and you open up there see there's already a little cord that I've plugged in this connects to your phone um, and check whether you hide the little controllers so you take it out it pops out and you just put it in there and you screw and there you go and you're good to go yeah swing it around while you're flying you can record uh, you can take a picture of the side this is for the tilt if you want to adjust the, the gimbal the camera while you're flying um, yeah basically that's it and you can also this is a chargeable camera you, I mean a controller you don't need extra batteries for this you just plug it in and off you go all right so i'm gonna try my best to actually record what this thing can do from the camera i'm um, sorry for the, the little bit of background light there so at first glance basically this is what it is um, you'll connect to the drone once you connect your phone it'll ask you to connect and then that's it you can go ahead and do it and then you can go fly but before you do if you see here it says a warning zone so generally that will just say if I, if you, if I click on it um, it'll tell me so it brings up a map and it generally shows where you can fly where you can't fly things like that and from the way it looks if you see this this little outline here that's a flight zone this blue and red line that's a restricted zone so where I am I'm actually safe so I can actually take this drone out outside now and fly it um, but I'm uh, not going to do that now All right so what's what's also nice is you can also check and see nearby flyer zone spots you can click on that it'll show you where you want to fly um, what else can we show you here well this operating system yeah so if you are new to flying drones and you really don't know a thing about drones um, what's nice about the the DJI app you can click on the little booklet there and what opens up then is tips flight safety, user manual, function tutorials, and it shows you exactly how to do your first flight, um, how to make use of the quick shots and things like that that I'm gonna show you. Um, it's extremely user-friendly, and that is why I love this DJI um, Mavic Mini. And I must say that this is not a paid for presentation. This is nothing, this is just me enjoying uh, drones. All right, so basically once you click on go fly, this is what pops up so the camera is obviously showing there so what it says is that um, aircraft in enhanced warning zone fly with caution so and then what i do is i normally say agree and confirm so the camera is obviously showing wherever now so you can show it towards me hi so basically Take off with caution, you can select that. Um, you can then set up your gimbal, uh, how high you want to fly, where you want to fly to, but there is normal governance for this. It tells you about your SD card, how much is available, time recording, things like that, uh, distance, etc. Um, what's also nice about this is you click on that and you'll keep your finger in, it'll go around green and then it'll automatically take off. So, so like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail with the, the drone. I'll show you some clips as to what happens where and how. And um, If you look here, that shows you the amount of satellites that are available. Um, if I go outside, it'll obviously be more. This mode, yeah, it's sport mode, makes the drone a bit faster. And trust me, it's very fast. That's uh, cinematic. That's when you shoot some nice um, cinematic movements with the drone, um, nice and slow. All right, what's also nice is when you record something, 
in your album you will see there's a couple of things here um, you can then go into these um, and you can create so with create is you literally can do whatever you want to do as this is going um, you can create a story on here so there's no need to actually transfer it somewhere else to make um, a nice edit you can do it on, on the go and and you're good to go also on your profile if you go into your profile um, it just shows you some details so it shows me that since I've had it I've flown it for an hour and 72 uh, minutes um, I've gone a distance of 3.7 kilometers and I've done 20 flights if you want more info you can check and it'll show you where what was or uh, distance altitude duration so the furthest I've basically gone was uh, the 757 meters of flown um, altitude I didn't really go that that high with this this drone 71 meters or so All right so that's that um, go fly just want to show you some so you see mine is already already set it up for 2.7k if I click on that so you'll see this quick shots uh, there's normal photo you can take uh, 1080p uh, you can change the settings for 24 frames per second, 25 frames, 30 frames. Uh, quick shot. If you click on quick shot, okay, it says that it says unable to enter quick shot with the aircraft not in flight. So let's go outside and, and, and possibly do that for you guys. So we're outside now. There's a drone. Hey, Cox, how's it come out the way, doggy? So there's a drone there. Here we are here camera so as I said to take off you will just touch that camera you will then put your finger it'll go green and there you go as easy as that so um, you'll just get in oh this warning here okay that's fine and just to show you quickly just get that away Alright, so as you'll see, it says quick shot. So now you can do a droney. I'll show you a clip of that. Uh, you can do a rocket. You can do a circle. Show you, I'll show you a clip of the circle and the helix. It's pretty much straightforward, guys. Um, this thing is amazing. And then to land, I'm just bring it back. What's nice about this is. I'll show you how I actually can make it land in my hand. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So yeah guys, that's DJI Mavic Mini for you, a drone. Um, plain and simple, basic review. Um, I love it. Um, and this is not paid for, just saying. But yeah, if you're in the market for a decent drone and you want to make nice cinematic footage and things like that, um, and you're not shy on spending a little, just a little bit of splash, um, I would recommend start there with the Mavic Mini. It does more or less the same as a Mavic Pro and things like that. Um, yeah and it's very easy to use you can barely go wrong and if you do there's guards that you can put on the on the propellers but yeah guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this short one uh, give it a like uh, I've got lots more coming down the line in terms of tech um, let me show you what's coming but yeah peace out guys thanks Before I go, just a teaser, I'll be unboxing and opening up here. I wonder what this could be. <laughs> Peace out guys.